When astrologers talk about planets being stationary or preparing to change direction, it's movement through the zodiac across the sky which changes and it's caused by an optical illusion created by the speed of the Earth relative to the speed of the planet. But we astrologers have always read great meaning into such things and right now if we look at Venus night after night we see that it isn't going any further across the zodiac. It is already slowly beginning to stand still. It's very hard when you read meaning into the movements of the planets not to go one step further and to start anthropomorphizing, in which case we can see Venus getting to a point in the zodiac sign of Gemini roughly where it is now and going, hang on a minute, aren't I supposed to be here this time in early June because I've got a date with the sun where I'm going to go in front of the great celestial body in broad daylight and uh, this will be the last time in over a hundred years, won't be till 2117 I do this again, but I, I think I'm early, I better hang around. What we astrologers think, what we see when we watch these changes in the sky take place, is that changes on the earth take place too. You see it in the way that Venus represents all that we love, the people that we love, the people who love us, and the subjects we love, our creativity, the things that inspire us. And when Venus is stationary, and as it begins to go retrograde, inevitably, we find ourselves reviewing our emotional commitments and our creative commitments, having new thoughts, new ideas, new understandings about what we value, and becoming a little more deeper and more sincere about the things which mean the most to us, and yet at the same time recognising where superficial alignments have taken the place of deeper connections and commitments. All that's beginning to change now, and depending on what sign you are, you'll feel the influence in different ways. As we now move into a time which is also exciting, because of course coming up soon we've got this rare annular eclipse, which in turn is going to be followed by a very exciting eclipse at the beginning of June, and then this historic transit of Venus, it would be fair to say that whatever it is in life that you love right now, whatever it is in life that you feel a strong bond of deep recognition and symbiosis towards, that connection will intensify and will deepen. And I'll be telling you more about how you can make the most out of all that you love and how you can love what you do in life, all that bit more, in your long range video, your week ahead audio forecast, your spoken moon sign reading, and of course, if you need more readings, there are also tarot readings and I Ching consultations and a host of other ways in which you can make the most out of all the celestial information that's currently available to you when you join the Five Star Service. If you're not a Five Star member already, give it a go. I think you'll find there's something there that really helps.